Hello! Um, today I'm gonna do my monster haul that I've been kind of promising for a while. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, seven albums to show you guys, which is actually a pretty big amount um, for me. So the first one I'm gonna start with is Jessica's Wonderland. Um, so of course as a so on, I had to buy this and it's actually a very good album. I think I like it a lot better than her second one. Um, my favorite track. I really liked the title, but outside of this, I think Dancing on the Moon is probably my favorite track. And I totally, totally get why everybody loves this album from the photo book. It is so beautiful. Um, and I also really liked the kind of like storybook part in the art, although I thought it was kind of bold that they did that just because so much of it's in English. And so I guess hopefully people in Korea, like their English reading skills are good enough. Um, and same with like all of her Chinese fans and stuff, but this book is, this is just like super beautifully produced and I really liked it a lot and I think it's just really beautiful. And then this was the a photo card I got for those who are interested. For once I got like a nice Jessica photo card. Um, okay, so the next one I wanted to show was another solo from a Girls Generation member and that is So Hyun's Don't Say No. Um, I thought this was a great solo album. I think my favorite tracks are Don't Say No, and Magic are probably my two favorites. Um, I haven't listened to this quite as much, so I don't have a super, super duper strong opinion on it. I really liked the photo book. I think this style, the CD is probably my favorite part actually, but I think the styling for Sohyun for this was amazing. And I'm really happy that they did it and that she got to have a solo album and that it's the same size as all the SMSD ones. And I was just really happy and enjoyed it a lot. Um, I will say Sohyun isn't one of my favorite members of Girls' Generation. So obviously she's one of my favorites, but she's not like number one because I do love all the girls, but, um, what was I gonna say? I'm still glad that she got a solo. I still think that she showed off a really cool vibe and something different than what I was expecting of her. Um, and then this was the photo card that I got for this one. She wrote quite a bit. I really like her handwriting for her English. It's super, super cute. Um, but yeah, and this font. Oh my god, I love this font. I know it's a trendy font, but I think it is really cute <laughs> also. All right, next is my rookies from 2016 and that is Momo Land. This is their first mini album, Welcome to Momo Land. Um, it might have got a little damaged, which was kind of a bummer, but I was not expecting this to be this big. And I'm probably gonna do a full proper unboxing of this just because I don't think there's very many of them. But they're super cute. Like these photos are really cute. Um, I do wish they'd put people's names on more of the pages, but I don't know. Just something about this mini was really nice to me. Um, the whole thing is actually really great. Even their like intro song is really cute. This was the um, title track. I think it's called something like that. Um, you get two instrumentals. I think this is the ballad and this is just another sort of poppy song. And I don't know. I just thought end to end it was really cute. The girls are really, you know, cute and like nice looking. And I thought the styling was fun and just everything was good. Um, and so this was the photo card that I got. This is Yan Wu. I don't really have a bias in Momo Land yet, so I'm happy that I got her, but everyone seems pretty great. Um, but yeah, so like I said, a proper unboxing of this is coming soon. Um, all right, next. Next I got Twice Coaster Lane 2. Um, I got the orange and red with the doors version just because I like this cover the best. I think my favorite part is that the title, this glitters like that. Um, so Lane 2, Knock Knock is fine. I think TT is a better song, but Knock Knock isn't bad. Um, I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> that basically I own this album twice and I'm possibly going to own it three times if I buy the Merry Christmas version. Like JYP, I need to just give me a new album. Like, why wasn't this just like a new, I don't know. I just wish this had been a totally new album versus a repack. Um, I guess it's nice that you get some remixes, but remixes are kind of whatever. And three instrumentals is kind of whatever. Uh, I haven't really listened to this second song that much. I've heard most people seem to like it though. Um, but yeah, mostly I picked this one just because I thought the photo book was cuter. Whoops. I just like the door photo shoot. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I liked, like I said, the cover better is why I picked it. In terms of photo cards, oh, um, I bought this from Ketchup CD, who doesn't do pre-orders, but they still sent out the pre-order cards, which was super cool. I wasn't expecting to get these, so I got the pre-order cards for this version, which was cool. Um, for the first time ever in my life, I pulled my biases card. So I got Minna's card, her version, I think this is version A. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So I only have to get one more version for her and then try to get Dahyun's cards at some point. And then whoop, the standee that I got was Momo, which I think, I feel like everybody on K-pop YouTube has gotten Momo's standee. Um, so if for some reason you want to trade for Minna's standee, 
let me know. But yeah, I think this was kind of a cute concept. Obviously, I'm not going to like cut it out or anything, but I think it's cool. A nice little gimme. I feel like um, Twice is very good about including good extras with their albums. Okay, um, the next one is, I'm sure you could probably guess, is Taeon's My Voice. I did buy both versions of this, the fine version and the I Got Love version. Um, I super love this packaging. I think it looks amazing. I really like this. This is probably my favorite part. But what's great is that this kind of works on its own. So if you only bought one version, um, it still works, which I think is really cool. I think my favorite version, photo book wise, is the I Got Love version. I just think that this styling for her is just, I don't know, it's fantastic. I was also really, really happy um, that these are two very different photo books. Mostly just because I think they knew everyone was going to buy both versions because it's Taehan. So I'm glad that they just made it different. I'm glad that I'm not getting any repeat photos. Um, and I'm glad, also too, if you liked one of these concepts more than the other, you probably only really wanted photos of the one. So that's kind of cool. Um, in terms of the quality of this album, it's fantastic. I ugh, Every single song on this could have been a title track. There isn't really a skip for me. There's one, one ballad -y song, I think, when I was young that I'm not super in love with, but it's still pretty good. Fine is fantastic. Um, Cover Up and Eraser are probably my second favorite tracks. My absolute most favorite track on this is I Got Love. I actually really, really, really liked that, but I think everything on this album is great. If you haven't had a chance to listen to this, I would really take the time, even if you're not an SNSD fan, Stan, or a Twice, or sorry, not Twice, a Taeon <laughs> Stan fan, I just think this is worth your time to investigate. I think it's just a really solid album end to end. Any song on here could have been a title track. Um, so for the I Got Love version, I got this photo card. Ooh. And for the um, fine version, I got this one, which is cute. I, I wonder, ooh, do the photo cards? Oh my god, the photo cards even do it. I didn't even notice that. That's really cool. I'm really glad SM like thought about this. They did this dual double packaging thing, right? Um, and then my final album to talk about is Red Velvet's Rookie. I, of course, got Solgi's cover because she's my bias. Um, I, like everybody else, am upset about the photo book, so we're just going to ignore that. Although, whew, I did, sorry, love the CD. I think the CD is really, really cute. I just, I like it a lot. Um, I think I'm one of the few people on K-pop YouTube that really likes Rookie as a title track. I thought it was... Like, I had to get past the, like, rookie being looky thing, um, but I just thought it was really cute, and I enjoyed it a lot, um, even from first listen. I think my actual favorite song, Body Talk is really good, but I think my absolute favorite song is, um, oh, sorry, I gotta find it in this weird thing. Ah, there it is. Talk To Me. Talk To Me is my favorite song <laughs> off this album. But this was a really solid red album for Red Velvet, um, and I'm just looking forward to what else they're gonna kind of come out with this year. It was cool that they did member covers. Um, this was one of the few times it was really easy for me to pick a member cover. And what was the thing? Oh, the photo card. I got one of Joy's photo cards, which I have already traded away. Um, so I will be buying Sulky's photo cards as the time goes on. Uh, but yeah, so that was all of the albums. I can try to fit it in like one, in the one shot a little bit. Oh goodness. Okay, there, there they all are. Um, that I got very recently, obviously still containing my girl group bias strongly. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, hopefully there'll be another video coming from me soon. Probably this unboxing, but you know, if there's other stuff you want to see unboxed, let me know. Anyway, thanks. Bye.